hello to all those beautiful souls watching thank you so much for clicking on this pickle card video i'm hello cardes and if you're new to my channel um be sure to hit that subscribe button it really helps me out and i would really appreciate that um this video is going to be all about um what is one message or some information that you really need to hear right now um the message that needs to find you um yeah so it could be from your spirit guides it could be from the universe um yeah your angels so this is going to include any of the psychic or intuitive information about that uh, regarding that subject and we got three options again the first option is the panther spirit the second option is the armadillo spirit the third option is the lizard spirit um you have to choose with your gut and intuition so take a deep breath pause the video if you need to relax calm down and see which options are really truly calling out to you um you can definitely choose more than one however choose the ones that you're being drawn to the most um and the timestamps are going to be given in the description box below and without further ado let's hop into the first option which is the panther spirit okay so um if you choose an option number one or the panther spirit i got the chariot for you the five of cups the lovers um four of cups nine nine of swords and the judgment card um and the message on your card is reclaim your power and we got a master number here which is 44 so four could be a significant number in your life maybe you see that a lot um yeah could be one of those things let me see what's coming for you um okay first thing that i'm sensing for you guys is there are things moving in your life very slowly i think that's one of the first things that's coming to my um yeah that's coming to me okay um so let's talk about zodiac signs first someone could be a gemini could be a cancer could also be a scorpio taurus um aries um but someone definitely is a water sign. I don't know. I I feel that someone is a water sign here. Yeah, I don't know why. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, definitely in this pile. Um, yeah, I feel that. So there is a lot of thinking going on in your life right now. I don't know what uh, what are you contemplating. For a lot of you, you're actually thinking about your long term goals. Um, something that you're really passionate about. You're really um, yeah, you're really desiring something, something about your long-term goals. You're thinking, you're into deep thinking, I feel. Um, yeah, focus on your dreams also and think about your dreams before sleeping. That's another pro tip I'm hearing from my guides. Um, another thing I feel is for a lot of you, whatever you're doing, like um, in regards to probably a course or a degree that you just per, uh, like pursued from somewhere that's about to get completed it's near completion or a project which you were working on for quite some time it's near completion and for a lot of you i feel there's going to be a change in your profession in your career i don't know what but you might change the way you work you might change the place you might change the work altogether maybe you would jump into another profession or something or you're planning on going into another profession um yeah i see that for a lot of you you're actually quitting a job because um maybe the person who is um like your boss or someone they're just being too dominating or something maybe you're just having a lot of pressure on yourself um yeah i see that just a lot of pressure and um you just cannot handle that i feel so that could be one of the reasons why you're probably switching jobs and stuff um yeah but i see like changes happening in your life i mean okay here's the thing you feel that changes are happening a bit slow they have been happening slow till a certain point in your life um like major changes have not really happened in your life as much but as of now i feel that things are gonna just kind of move as fast as possible and things are just gonna fall into place yeah there you go um i think all the necessary changes will be made in the immediate future and things are just gonna fall into place 
things will just settle down i think that's the time this is that time around um yeah i feel that so that's one of the messages i'm getting for you guys and um let's see another message that i'm getting now someone could be an aquarius as well um if not that i feel okay um for some of you you're actually moving moving to a different location different place could be a trip for some people i, I don't feel that's a trip it's moving due to um some i don't know it requires you know um like it's sort of like a demand from life or from circumstances in your life that you need to move you need to shift from where you are to where you um yeah you have to go i don't know what place like i see like overseas travel for some people i could be air travel as well um yeah and you're not moving alone you're there's someone somebody else coming with you so that's one of the things as well um okay another thing that i'm kind of sensing for you guys is that um there is like um i see that a lot of you are really confused about something um yeah i don't know what this confusion is regarding but whatever it is about it's just it's come to a point now where you're just completely you feel defeated let's just keep it that keep it at that um you feel defeated you feel like you don't want to fight it anymore you don't want to um yeah you're just like tired of it i know what this is but this is like you kind of giving up on fighting over something um and you just wanting to walk away from it this is just becoming way too confusing and you just don't want to deal with it anymore now this could be something draining if this is a job if this is like a i don't know you just there's a lot of confusion like you cannot see things clearly so this definitely like you don't even know what action to take in this um yeah in this situation and um yeah so that's actually one of the things i'm sensing and another thing that i'm sensing is there is too much of the new and like um saying goodbye to the old kind of a feeling in this pile so i don't know what are you guys going through but with the chariot and with the judgment and just like all the other vibes that i'm feeling right now i just feel that you are really getting out of some old um stuck energy which really was is not serving you anymore and you need to get out of that i feel that you're moving into a much better place for a lot of you there is actually some air travel coming up um if not air travel there is just travel coming up to be honest and um yeah you're just going to be moving a lot i see um and for a lot of you this travel is a, is going to bring you money so that's another thing um something's been hidden hidden from you also um yeah and there is some sort of an end and some new beginning so if something has ended like a relationship a connection something has ended with that something new is going to come because with every ending there is a new beginning as they say and um yeah i see someone coming in like if there is if there's been some sort of an ending there is something new waiting for you on the horizon this just does not apply in love it applies in everything so yeah if this is about a job a career definitely there is something much better waiting for you on the horizon so yeah that's another thing and um let's see so and for a lot of you you've actually been stuck somewhere so this could be a relationship this could be about your feelings maybe you're not clear on how you felt towards this person or you're with someone who was not clear about you in any of the scenarios i feel that there's going to be some sort of a realization some sort of an epiphany that you're going to have you're going to have or your person is going to have and that is going to clear out a lot of things um that's just going to make things very clear and yeah this epiphany is going to be like um yeah, it's just going to make things a whole lot clearer 
um, if you've been stuck if you felt stuck in some situation you are finally gonna get out of it do not worry um, especially if it's about the matters of the heart your love life your relationship with someone um, yeah definitely I see that and you have a bond with someone you have in in fact if you're a water sign or if you're dealing with someone who's a water sign there's a huge huge possibility that this connection is a beautiful one and um yeah you are like yeah you're meant to work on it kind of a thing you know you guys do have a very um beautiful bond let's just keep it at that because you know uh, you both cannot let go of each other like i don't know like who is this who is this couple i don't know that i'm tapping into but you guys just are so um, in love with each other and you both have already given a part of your heart to this person and same goes for that person as well so um, this relationship first of all is very grounding very um, secure it makes you feel secure there is nothing like um, it's not stable or anything of that sort so yeah um, that's all I'm sensing for you guys and that's that's a power couple right there to be honest like if you're a water sign or if you're dealing with someone who's a water sign um, do check if that's in the prominent places of the birth chart. it does not yeah I would not like apply if the water sign is just anywhere you know um, I hope like you know sun moon rising that's that's where you need to check so yeah um, with that um, I'm gonna finish off this pile and if you um, like this video give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe down below if you haven't already and do keep in mind this is genuine so it's not going to resonate with every single one of you in its entirety and if you do wish to book a personal reading with me which is catered to your own requirements situation and needs then you can contact me through my email and my email is given in the description box below so thank you so much once again for watching hope you all have a lovely day bye see you guys next time Okay, so um, if you choose an option of a second or the Armadillo Spirit, I got the um, Death card for you, King of Swords, Princess of Wands, um, Princess of Cups. Princess is, uh, I believe, Page in this deck. The Empress, Ace of Cups, and the message on a card is Set Healthy Boundaries, and uh, the number is 3. Yeah. Um, so first of all i'm sensing that one thing that you know you really need to find out right now is now this is something i feel which is coming towards you um yeah there's something which is coming towards you a wish of yours is coming towards you something you've been wanting for a long 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 time already i don't know what this is but this is a big thing let's just keep it at that it's a big wish it's, it is all about like um, universe giving you um, universe paving way for your destiny plus universe giving you what you always have been wanting in your life and um, I see something new coming up for you new gateways opening um, new sense of hope new um, opportunities also coming out your door um, especially if you've been working towards something if you've been investing your emotions into something I see you getting ahead with that so yeah that's one of the things and if it's about your profession um, it's just yeah it's really good yeah I feel that and um, let me see okay um, if we talk about finances again it's it's good um, there's nothing to worry about in sort of in the case of finances as well however i feel that you really need to move out of a certain area or a situation in your life i know what the situation is about but something that you really need to walk out of or like something where you feel like oh it's like you know you feel stuck you just want things to turn around turn in your favor and you don't like the way things are right now currently in some sort of a situation and you really want to move things ahead you want to go and you want to like I don't know you want to take action right now you're just all about taking action 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 
and I feel that you just need to slow down a little um, you're not really letting your intuition talk to yourself you're kind of discarding your intuition at this point and things are gonna work out for you things are gonna come at you at your door and things will turn around for you especially um, the way you always wanted in fact better than that um, however yeah there's just this phase where you have to kind of stay patient and i think that's kind of taking a toll on you um, but you don't have to worry about anything honestly because i think everything in, is kind of in place it's just that um you want one thing after the other and you want constant movement in a certain area and that's just not happening so maybe that's just kind of like um yeah it's becoming a bit um yeah hard to deal with let's see what else you really need to hear at this point um someone could be an aries someone could be a scorpio someone could be a taurus libra um yeah that's all i'm sensing for the zodiac signs regardless of that i feel yeah again something new is coming towards you you know what with this death card right here it might seem a bit like intimidating but the best thing about the death card is death always talks about getting out of the old so you're stepping out of something and stepping into something else something new um yeah so death is all about out of the old in with the new so i don't know what this new thing is but definitely death is all about taking death card is almost like um it's like the black hole which will literally suck out all the negative things and the things that are not really serving you any longer so yeah it's just gonna take away all of that it's gonna absorb all of that it's just gonna take away all of those things from your life whether it be toxicity negativity of any sort and it's just gonna like teleport you into a vibe or a setting where everything is gonna work out much smoothly than ever i see new things coming up for you so um yeah new things um i see so maybe you're manifesting something you've been manifesting something for a long time and this manifestation i feel is something which is a bit big you know it's just not a small thing it's nothing like you manifest almost every day this is a big thing to be honest and something is coming towards you and this thing is all about like yeah it's just gonna cause a massive shift in your lifestyle and um the way things are currently in your life it's just gonna be like um yeah it's just gonna be a bit more different N yeah it's just gonna be in fact completely different so a new adventure a new like i have to say a new life is ahead of you um for a lot of you maybe you've been scripting maybe you've been writing down affirmations you've been doing certain techniques to manifest some things and all of those things are actually making you progress um bringing you closer to what you want and i see like a big wish of yours coming true so that's that's the highlight of your reading to be honest so yeah um that's what i'm sensing for you guys and one of the things that that is also kind of like striking me um here is that there has been a lot of changes um lately in your life so um maybe in the last few months or something a lot of changes have been happening lately and um there are more to come that's another thing that i'm hearing um a lot more changes are on the horizon and um yeah that's what i'm sensing also and um Um, also, I'm uh, sensing that there might be something which will come towards you all of a sudden. Now, this could be some sort of a realization, some sort of like a... Um, this could be a realization. However, um, this is going to be... This is going to come to you as a shock, I feel. Um, as in like, it could be a piece of information 
it could be a piece of information about someone or something which literally changes a perception altogether um yeah that's what i'm sensing so that's another thing especially you know what if you're dealing with someone in a relationship where you're facing some sort of heartbreak um you don't really know what is happening you don't know what the intentions are all about just stay there um you will figure out something and if you feel deep down that it's not going to work out or if you feel deep down just ask yourself deep down is this really making you happy and um is the person toxic or negative just making everything a bit toxic now this word toxic is a big word don't put it on just about anyone else anybody okay um this this is very specific it's only about someone in specific so um yeah be very careful with this message if this is not something that you're dealing with currently just disregard this message and move on so yeah um that's all I'm sensing for you guys um someone could be a scorpio i think i already said that so yeah um that's all I'm sensing for you guys if you um like this video give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe down below if you haven't already that really means a lot to me and also um do keep in mind this is a journey so it's not going to resonate with every single one of you and it's entirely so if you do wish to book a personal reading with me which is catered to your own circumstances and your own needs and requirements um all you have to do is email me and my email is given in the description box below thank you so much once again for watching hope you all have a lovely day bye see you guys next time Okay so if you choose an option number 3 or the lizard spirit which says um dream the world into being and the number is 38 I got the magician for you two of spears which is the two of wands um uh, four of spears which is the four of wands three of cups seven of spears and is the empress um I feel for you guys uh, okay let's talk about the zodiac signs first I feel someone could be a libra taurus scorpio um Gemini Virgo um and Capricorn I also feel that someone is also going to be um a fixed sign so Leo, Taurus, Scorpio and um Aquarius as that could be one of the things as well. Yeah, so um I feel that if we talk about love because one of the first messages that I'm getting for you guys is regarding love. Um so if you have look okay here's the thing um I know that twin flame connections are rare however if you feel that you're in one um it's a lot of work but the connection is very beautiful also it does not have to be painful or something please do not believe in all the things crappy things that you hear about twin flame relationships they are not like that I think that the people are just calling toxic relationships to be like twin flame, you know, it's yeah, that's just not real. Um if you feel that you have a true bond with someone, it could be, you know, I feel that someone has a twin flame relationship in this pile. It could be that um it could be that you have had conflicts with someone who you're really close to. Um lately, recently you got into some sort of conflict. um and this conflict resulted into nothing um none of the parties got happy after what happened and um this could be a soulmate could be a twin flame why i want to say is this person really keeps you on a high pedestal and um you both have a connection number 6 is very significant very if you see number 6 a lot or even if you don't see 6 okay here's the thing Um number 6 is all about balance. So you don't know how much balanced this union is. Whoever you are connected with and you feel that it is a genuine connection, you have to invest some time in it. You have to be patient with this person. You will start to see how amazing this bond is. You will start to see how beautiful everything becomes. you will just not realize it you have to give it your time your patience you cannot be impatient with this um you cannot just treat the other person like you cannot you know have them for granted you have to be grateful for that person um i would even say like 
start doing like a gratitude list or something if you are like in a relationship with someone um but yeah um that's one of the things that i'm sensing for you guys if it's about love you know um and if you are wondering about someone in particular um i feel that that person is going to reach out to you if you're seeing someone in your dreams a lot if you are wondering about some specific person um this person may reach out to you as well some could be a libra here yes i feel that and um the next message that i'm getting for you guys is about your dreams so um if there is something that you've been wanting to um yeah i feel that there are a lot of things that you want to achieve and you're just kind of feeling a bit um like how do you go about that and um okay someone is a virgo over here someone is a workaholic someone really works hard and you are kind of like you are wanting to go to the next level however you feel blinded by maybe confusion maybe doubt which yeah i don't know what is happening but you just feel a bit confused as of now um i'm sensing that you need to be the first okay the first and foremost advice here and i think this is possibly the best advice that i can give you is to be carefree plus being a bit into the um adventurous mode in the sense that you should allow things to happen rather than try to control things sometimes we cannot really understand everything going around us or like why things happened the way they did why is it happening this way or what's going to happen in the future sometimes like you know these tarot cards as well um you should not try to figure out everything that just really messes up messes up everything and um yeah so the best advice for you would be to um um just take things really lightly even if there is confusion let it stay let it pass don't sit with that confusion let it go away and um yeah i do feel that i also feel that there is something which is bugging you at night i don't know what this thing is that's really like um yeah I don't know what this is about but something's been bugging you at night um it could be some sort of like a stress that you've been having regarding some area of your life and let me just say to you one thing is this stress that you're having I don't know what this is about maybe about love maybe about your profession is this is just invalid my guide is saying that this worry is due to overthinking and you don't really this worry does not really have a ground i mean you will create a ground if you keep on thinking further and further and if you keep investing in this fear however this fear is just not true and it's fake and you need to see this that it's an illusion it's just a trap created by your own thoughts um negative thoughts um often times of course always it's only the negative thoughts often times um of why do i keep saying that yeah so wh- what i'm trying to say here is if there is something that's really bugging you and it's just becoming too much too overwhelming um there is a huge possibility that that just might be an illusion caused by your overthinking and you don't really know the truth yet so just hold on don't assume things don't just um have a premonition don't just be like oh i know what this is about oh i know why that person is acting like that oh i know what's going to come about often times we don't know and we should wait um i think you should um have the attitude of gratitude that is really cliched but it's just going to help you a lot and another thing i would like you to inculcate is patience um yeah so you need to be patient and let me just say anything that's really bugging you these days or like really bothering you it's all in your head it's nowhere outside but you will create it outside if you keep investing in it but it is not true dear just get out of that step out of that and um you'll be good to go so um i don't know what this is about but it's just 
an illusion and you need to see that so um that's all i'm sensing for you guys and um i hope i helped you out in some way um and if i did okay wait there's i think there's one more message for you guys okay let me see um uh, wait 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 <laughs> uh okay someone could be a leo here someone could be a capricorn and um another thing that i'm okay this last message it's all about um now okay for a lot of you there might be someone who is traveling like very near and dear to you or you are going to travel somewhere very very soon this could be a visit to your family a visit to your parents a visit to your a visit to a different country maybe you're going to visit your native country very very soon or someone is coming towards you um something's going to happen around that time when that trip is going to happen something will happen around that time very significant very lucky as well um yeah i see that and there is someone in your life who is really attracted to you i feel physically there is a lot of physical attraction sexual attraction as well um yes extreme extreme this is extreme uh someone who has like who has their eyes on you yes you are literally this person is in your control i just heard they are in your control so i don't know what my guides mean by that but um this person um they are it's not that okay here's the thing you know you must have heard all those people say they are all about you this person is so in love with you yes all of that comes but this person is on a different level it's almost like this person is um yeah it, they're just like lost in you sort of a thing so yeah this person is like yeah i don't know who is this like i'm reading about but do you have a leo in your life or are you a leo um someone is really sexually attracted to you yes it's like you almost have cast a spell on this person yes this person is like um yeah charmed by you or something so that's um that's a very beautiful message i got right there so um if you guys like this video please give this video a thumbs up and also um subscribe down below if you haven't already uh, it would really mean a lot to me and also um do keep in mind this is jagdish so it's not going to resonate with every single one of you in its entirety so if you do wish to book a personal reading with me you can do so by emailing me and my email is given in the description box below Thank you so much once again for watching for clicking on this video and sticking by hope you all have a lovely day bye see you guys next time